Hi, Vanessa. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Justin. So I'm wondering, Vanessa, can you comment on the overall importance of screening and treating substance use among people with HIV? Really important to provide information about HIV screening, prevention, and treatment, of course, to folks who have substance use disorder, have addiction, um, but additionally, really to provide the opposite as well. So to really be screening our patients with HIV for comorbid substance use disorder, particularly for substances that are not illegal. So um, tobacco or nicotine products, alcohol, in addition to other substances like opioids or stimulants like methamphetamines. Substances like nicotine and alcohol are are often in certain ways even more challenging to address because they are socially acceptable, but also the use of of, um, nicotine, um, whether that be smoking cigarettes or or vaping, um, and then additionally using alcohol really increased in in this population. So um, we're seeing a lot of folks using high volumes of alcohol, you know, using nicotine products in in large quantities. And so really um, increasing risks, not only associated with with other substances of use, but then additionally increasing, you know, risks around challenges to adherence to ART and, and additional medical complications. I would also say that identifying substance use disorders and implementing prompt intervention whether that be medications or behavioral interventions based on a patient-centered care plan is critical to improving management of patients living with HIV and managing other related conditions long-term. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Really appreciate you sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you so much for having me.